Hello YouTube, it's been a while. You guys are probably wondering where I've been. And if you know me already, you probably know that I play more competitive than anything else. So every time the new season, the new competitive season starts, I just forget about YouTube completely. And this has been a thing for like over three years now. And don't get me wrong, I've always liked making YouTube videos, to be honest. Um, I don't even get money from this. Most of my videos are copyrighted, but it's something I really like doing. With that being said, I'm still not going to be posting too often, but I want to I wanted to post some Power League videos for now. I'm currently L2 on the new season, and I'm going to try to post my Road to Masters. I'm also going to try to commentate over the draft and over the gameplay. This is like the first time I've ever tried this, but if you guys like it, just let me know and, and I'm going to try to post more videos like this. It's not a promise though, you guys already know me. I'm probably going to leave like in two weeks or less, but... I'm gonna try my best. So I hope you enjoy the games. Bye. So first map is gonna be pit stop, and beforehand, I, I just want to say, I do not know how to draft correctly. I of course know the meta brawlers because I play competitive, so I should know that every every single pro knows like the meta. But drafting is like a different different thing. But it doesn't really matter that much to me. I just try to ban like the most strong brawlers in, in those maps like you gotta know specific bans for like first pick and last pick so I usually ban Brawly here because uh, it's such a strong first pick such as Nita and such as Shelly, Shelly is like good everywhere so that's a, such a good first ban if you don't have first pick you should always ban Shelly unless you're like playing uh, gold lobbies or uh, silver lobbies like they don't really care you can play Shelly and just um no one's gonna really pick it in those in those games you just take it and get a free win but yeah i'm just gonna tell you like my basic thoughts on what i pick and what i ban and um i'm kind of suggesting spike right here and when i when i don't suggest them the brawlers i just like flash them which is different because i'm just like oh here are some brawlers that could be good and you could go but you don't really have to go them if you don't want to because i also don't like going brawlers that people suggest me i just gonna i'm just gonna try to play my shit bro you're gonna end up going to otis and ems which is a really nice comp ems is really it's really strong here in this map if you have like if you if you can get it two and three that's a really nice comp because you have like an anti-tank and and you can last pick something else but they're gonna have two anti-tanks which is usually not the the best ideal you you should always at least have one but two all right i mean we do have a boss and i want carl but carl is one of my favorite brawlers and uh comfort picks so i'm just gonna go for it it's not a bad carl game i think it does very well against otis and nito maybe by the way ignore my name um that's my main account if you're wondering it's not one of my six accounts but yes um we were playing the goblin carl we got the estimate spray make sure to buy it on the uh, catalog it's 29 gems go buy it anyways every time i play carl i just make sure to um try to wall peek with the fucking pickaxe it's gonna it's like the best tool you can have <laughs> Honestly, by the time I'm recording this, I'm like um, putting the voice over live. And I'm making so much mistakes on, on what to say. I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, I've never done these type of videos, but I'm gonna just be waffling. And um, I'm gonna try to waffle less in some parts, but you guys just tell me. So, getting back into the gameplay, they're trying to rush me. The needle was close to bear, so she gets a shot off of me, put us into the bear. But luckily, my boss spawned in. He got me, even though he walks into all these supers, straight line. But it doesn't really matter, he's not doing damage. I'm trying to move up and try to get to the safe and bounce that pick us off the wall. Uh, I get the Nita, I was close to super. You see how I bounce the wall, I mean, I bounce my pick us off the wall against the Nita. You should, you guys should try to do that. Because if you out aim that pickaxe, it's gonna go like somewhere else and take like a long distance instead of just... Um, bouncing it off the wall so that's a kind of like a tip i just noticed we were kind of losing only by 14 percent though um i'm still trying to move up the map and do damage to the safe i'm kind of blowing the needle one once again 
And now I get a lot of damage on the save, but there's a, there's a Otis and there's an Ems. And I don't think my Spike and on the bus can defend that shit, so I think we're gonna lose. I keep bullying the Nido, and I, eventually I was gonna get the saves. But we did have a, a boss defending the whole time. Um, I'm not even a tank player or like a boss main. I kind of suck at those. But if you like, a, if you're playing tanks in heist, you should always try to go up and never defend that much because you're a tank. You do like a lot of damage to their save. And um, you guys should know when to defend most of the times or like which rollers to defend and which ones not because there's a lot of people that. They see low DPS brawlers in, in their safe and they're like, oh, I'm not going to defend that shit. Like, no, he's not going to take your your safe unless he's like a, a Daryl or something. So you should always try to move up the map. You see here, I'm like, I'm just wasting time. So I decided to go up. I know they're not going to um, 100 all my safe. So I'm just going to try to do damage right now. I know there's two people defending our safe. And as you can see, it's not even touch. Our save is still 100% and I'm already halfway through it. And my team managed to defend without taking any single damage, which that's good. But yeah, you should like, I could have stayed there and helped my team, but I would have just wasted time. I, we could have killed them all, but that would have like gave us zero damage. And now we're like winning by 90%. So that's something you gotta take in mind when to move up the map or well, stay defending certain brawlers because they're not they're like low dps brawlers you see the ems she has a lot of damage but she's gonna like run out of shots and she's not gonna do that much unless the needle gets so bare on our save somehow um off of the bus and our save then will be gone but luckily she didn't get that Anyways, we got ourselves a match right here. We're going to game three. By the way, we're facing Shine, which is the only player I know in this lobby. He's a really good NA player. Anyways, going to game three. Got we got the STMN spray. Make sure to buy that thing. I know I said it twice, but really, go buy the STMN spray. Otherwise, a bear will get in your house and bite your legs. Um, you see, I'm I'm Carl Gadgeting up because my boss was doing a lot of damage. I ended up dying. That was not like a good gadget, or I, I could have just stayed back. I didn't even have two gadgets there. I, I could have just went up and and uh, I could have just poked them. But anyways, um, my boss. I don't know what my boss doing over there. Like he just keeps grappling to the Otis. Like, bro, what what do you think is gonna happen? He's gonna just fucking mute you. Uh, this time he gets it though, he gets it. Oh, the spike did like a fucking 90% to the safe, and now I'm just trying to finish it off. Um, yeah, my boss is just doing boss things. I think he got muted again, once again. The spike is spinning, he knows we, we already won the game. But we're speaking too soon, maybe. I'm trying to just finish the game, just let it finish, like it's overcut. Just, just let Kyle win the game, and that's the first win of the day. Get the monkey pin. Uh, yeah, we got the star player too. One and six on the spike, uh, but he, he did, did like a 60% to the save. So that's going to be the first win of the day. And the video is kind of getting a bit too long. I was not expecting it to be this. It's not even long, but I was waffling at the intro and the draft. But uh, for the next video, so I'm just going to try to go straight to the gameplay. But I just needed to let you guys know that I'm, I'm here and there trying to post more often and this was kind of fun to be honest anyways that's gonna be it for today i think i know it was only one game but it was more like an explanation video more than anything else and uh i'm gonna keep posting you're gonna have all my social medias in the description and uh that's gonna be it thank you for watching and uh, i hope to see you soon bye